Hey guys, Joe here from Xbox Games. Check it out. We got the D-Dart Twin Tornado. Now, if you guys have been following along, this is the third kind of new blaster that was currently released by D-Dart. If you want to check out the other two, check them out right there. They all kind of got their kind of cool gimmicks and quirks with them all. But uh, yeah, the Twin Tornado, not too bad. Let's hop in and take a look at the box. I think with this one, you know, the box definitely represents what it's all about. You can look at it and say, okay, I get it. You have two cylinders built in there where the blizzard, you're like, whoa, that thing is out of control. And then, of course, with the other one, you're kind of like, I don't know what that is. But this one, yeah, you can see it right in the box, Twin Tornado. Boom. It got two darts. You can shoot two. You can shoot one at a time. So the box, I like it. I think it's a top box out of them all. Comparison to, of course, that one back there. Yes, the Twin Tornado with that box was just ginormous. You're like, my gosh. Now... With this particular blaster, you know, looking at it, you might think, okay, is that another Pro? Is that another Tempest V2? You know, it, what is that? And this one has, you know, kind of a cool little gimmick to it. So this one does have a double ring, so it can hold 54 darts. Very similar to the previous one we did here, where technically you get 54 darts, or 54 overall shots, but in two different drums. So you can quickly release the drum, put on the other one, and then go. But this one has it built in. And what's nice is you can actually kind of select and say, you know what, I want to shoot two at a time or I want to shoot one at a time. And I want to pop this up here. This one has a significant top, uh, kind of top firing piece, whatever you want to call it there, that holds the flywheels and the motors. It is significantly bigger, at least two times. So you could shoot two darts at one time or just shoot a single and it rotates and switches to the outer slash inner drum, which I thought was kind of nice. But we're going to get into that hopefully here just in a little bit. This does, of course, take four AAA batteries. It is right there in the front, pretty much the same as the complete line that we've seen. You just pop it open, throw it inside the battery tray, and you're ready to go. I was hoping that this one was going to be, you know, six AAAs, but unfortunately, it is four AA's. And you guys will see, just like with most of mine, I'm like, oh my gosh, it just needs, it needs that little extra punch. You know, it needs those two additional AAAs in here uh, to fire off. Now, just like on the other boxes, yes. There are suction darts everywhere listed on this box. I know people are like, Xbox, we get it. But hey, look, if you are buying this specifically for those suction darts, you ain't gonna get them. And the darts are actually inside these small little boxes on the side, which I'll show you. So you can't actually see them in the box, but on the box, yeah, suction darts everywhere, but it does come along with these darts, which are just quote unquote, regular darts. You cannot see them inside the box unlike the uh unlike the blizzard you could see the darts in there but this one they come in two little boxes on the side so you really don't know what you're getting <laughs> until you open them up so i know there's going to be someone out there who's like oh man i thought this thing came with suction darts but it came with regular darts for my demo i'm just shooting uh just my regular kind of white darts with these these have been great and i like these because you could see these flying through the air a lot better than the darks i did not actually i was gonna say i didn't really notice an fps increase but these actually shot just a little bit quicker uh maybe by one to two fps over the uh kind of standard darts that come with it so let's take a look at this thing in the hands it feels good it uh you know weight wise it's not too bad when it's fully loaded uh, I thought it would have been a little worse, but it is a little uh, slightly heavy, but not too bad. I don't feel like I couldn't hold two of these on the field and go run around for, you know, an hour or so without getting too tired. Unlike, yeah, the blizzard back there, which that when that thing's loaded up, I'm like, man, it's like holding like a huge weight in my hand, just kind of holding it out. So it looks really good in the hands. But if we look at it kind of up close here, I mean, it's built well, but this design, D-Dart kind of kind of innovated this and I hope that maybe some other manufacturers might hop on the train and come out with something kind of similar because I kind of like this. There's not a lot to it. It's just right there in your hand and you're ready to rock and roll. So let's just get into me shooting this particular thing. So one of the things about this uh, particular blaster that makes it different than the other line, the D-Dart, is you can shoot two darts at a time or you can shoot one. And there's just a little flip inside the back where you kind of flip it. But you're going to see here this suffers from the same kind of lack of power as all of the rest of this current line of D-Dart blasters. So when you see I'm shooting here, if you just kind of go full full auto, the first shot may be around 55 FPS, but it drops off dramatically. The third and fourth and fifth shots, I mean, you might as well just throw the darts at somebody, right? I mean, you're not shooting more than 10 feet and everything suffers from the lack of power but if you sit there and let it rev and then shoot one, two, okay, shoot one, two. 
But if you're sitting there and you got to shoot somebody and you're waiting four or five seconds for this thing to rev all the way up to get them, you're already shot. So that was just one of the things with this that I'm like, come on, can we just get that extra power so it can rotate and shoot these things? I think if the shots were consistent, like the first shot are very, very close, I would love this thing. I would absolutely have no issue with it if we got that, you know, 25 to 35 foot shot and then maybe it dropped down to, you know, drop five feet, not dropping 15 feet and FPS. I was just like, man, now you can switch this thing to single shot. So if that's more your thing, fine. With the single shot, yes, you do get a little bit more of a consistent shot, but you still get the drop off. I had to lob these things in there and I'm only about 20 to 20-ish, five feet, maybe even, I don't even think I'm 25 feet away from my, away from my thing here. I had to lob them in there. That's why I'm like, man, it's if somebody is that close to you and you got a lava dart, I, I'm serious. I guys, I, I feel like I can throw a dart quicker. <laughs> I feel like I can throw them quicker and more accurate. But uh, yeah, you can sit there and shoot this single, and it will actually auto switch to the uh, outermost ring after the innermost ring is done. Which I was like, oh, that's awesome. So it just auto switches and goes. So you get a true 54 shots continuous. Now, I didn't have any issues with this feeding, which is awesome. It was just it being slow where I'm like, man, let's go. Let's try to shoot a little bit quicker. So there you go. I mean, shooting this is just like all the rest. It is severely underpowered, but I do plan to kind of bump this thing up by at least, uh, you know, 50 percent. Uh, hoping like maybe like 9.6 volts somewhere right in there. I'm probably not going to put 11 volts through this thing. I don't want to fry it, but I'm definitely going to bump this thing up to see if I can get that performance that I want. I think it should be pretty straightforward with the connector that's in there, but we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, overall guys, the current line that we've done, they're, I like them all. They're all, they're all very unique. They're all very cool, but I think they all have the same commonality between them, right? And that is gonna be the suction darts. I'm just kidding. That is, I mean, that is true, but the, it's the lack of power. It's, the, it's that lack of FPS, that lack of rotation. It's, it's all of that. The first two shots, you're like, okay, that's all right. But you expect more when you're paying a decent, pretty penny for some of these, you expect more than what I'm getting out of these. And you know, if someone's sitting here saying, oh, they love the performance of it off of six volts. No, there's, there is just no way. If you can't shoot 20 feet after a couple shots and you're trying to lob them, literally I can just, just go like that and throw the dart harder. But still, I like the design. I like the innovation. I like what they're doing with some of these. I just wish that it took six triple A's. Uh, the six volts again on any blaster just, it just isn't enough, especially when you're, you're, this is kind of meant for, you know, full auto in some capacity, you need that extra power. So we're going to see what happens with all of these. When I bump these on up to see if we can kind of get that performance that we're looking for. But that is my two cents guys on the twin tornado. I think out of all three of them that I've recently reviewed, um, the twin tornado, I feel like has the most potential if they can shoot right. I do like the blizzard, but I think like this shooting two at a time, I, I think that's awesome. Two out of anything I think is awesome. But again, that is my opinion on this particular blaster. Let me know if you guys think and leave it down in the comments if you guys kind of agree or, you know, if you guys have picked this up and maybe yours just rocks. But six volts. Yeah. Anyways, thanks again, Fox fans.